How's it going, monsters? Can you hear the final episode of Stories Untold? Will everything ravel together in a successful conclusion that explains everything, or will it just be one massive disappointment? Let's find out. This is the last session. Let's do it. So, you get to see this one last time. I think that's enough of that for now. Whoa, what the fuck? How would you like it if I paused your favourite TV show, huh? You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Yeah! I- What? What?! It's a show?! It's a- It's a- Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Oh my this god! Place must be starting to feel like home to you. This is so. Oh! Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. Oh, more cameras. Thanks. Appreciate it. So, do okay. I actually get to see a face now? In the next room. Oh. Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Thank you. Right, Mr. Asian. Now are you ready? We're ready. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Okay, recording. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. What the As fuck? we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. Whoa. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Okay. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. Okay, alright. James, it's time to remember. Oh, God. Your mind. It's Whoa! Like a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Where are we going back into this fucker? In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. Yes. You were isolated from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily. Encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. Holy People shit. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Type in the numbers, James. Okay, it's done. Guess. Okay, so now I gotta look up report. Wilson. Road traffic accident. This is his report. This is his police file. Accident type 20 a fatal accident. James Asian. One Wayview Drive, Pertree Bridge. City of Wilson. Driver's name was Charles Hennings. Deceased. Head on collision. Must have killed him. Blue sedan. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head-on collision. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The drivers of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of his control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passengers was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. What, that was his fault? That he was drinking? It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband, he was fine. No way he caused this. The door slammed sharp when she this Haitian guy. 
He's got something to hide. The light flickers on. What the fuck? You step out into the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. The fuck is going on? Driving home? Don't have the fifth pint. Tense up, someone else is here. Hello? Show yourself! We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be hit. Keys? You grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy on your hand. You only caught a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why you hear why there is no detail there. Oh, that's why. Okay. Wait a minute. You spend most of your waking moments in here. The only video they have, some horror compilation, trash. The waiting area, it's dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. The fuck? What's going on? What's going on? This is really fucking freaking me out. Someone breathes on your neck standing over you! Oh my god. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Oh. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. Oh my god! I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Can we get this on the screen, please? Whoa! What the fuck? Clear. Uh. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. Do it. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Clear. Well, would you look at that? Seems we have a pulse. Fuck. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Okay, we got the x-ray. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Oh god! Calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this. Uh, we're back in the house. It all comes down to this. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with your friends. Mum, Dad and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room and as usual you don't recognise a soul. Go to the kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table. The carcass! Also, Jen is here signaling you. Okay, go to Jen. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. She tells you to enjoy it anyway, and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Can't mess it up, but first, a drink. Pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Drink. Oh my god. There is a bottle with a ribbon around it with a card. Read the card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double mat. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. You head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. <laughs> this is this is upsetting. And that is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. A few bumps and laughs on the way through, and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with her tears. 
Help! What the fuck is... Help! Jennifer! I don't understand. Help! Her! Now! Help! Sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts, those words echo. I can't. I'm drunk. I can't drive. Fuck you! She's work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it though, you know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Get in car. You fumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Use the key. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. A note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. I can't really read the note, can I? The note is from your dad and it reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Okay, both you and Jane have the seatbelts on and ready to go. It's time to go. Drive. Oh, doing the engine is actually on! It's like you've never driven before! Turn on the car. You turn the key in the ignition and the car roars to life. The car squeals but stays stationary. Jen suggests releasing the brake. Jeez, they really want to be technical with this. You put the car in gear and pull out into the driveway like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Left. You don't want to... You don't want to, but you had to... Better ask, Jen. It's left. Of course. Of course it's left! I knew that! Left. Go! Fucking! Left! You loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down! That's not what really happened though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange, there is a set of headlights coming at you directly, but really slow, like slow motion. Turn! You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins James, the inside. Sake, the over. whole world turns around you and begin to scream. Isn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. What? Go on. Show us what you did. What did you do? You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole into the chest as poisonous spewing spill into your car from the engines. You're in great danger, you have to get out of here. Did he literally just leave his sister? Release Jim. Seatbelt. 
You have already taken off your seatbelt. It saved your life. No, but what, what about Jens? A blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching in the distance. Oh my god, you didn't. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle con contents onto the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. Illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground at his feet. I you. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it. But no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. I knew what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. What the fuck? Say it, James. Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely. Tell them. If anyone else is ever with him. Listen to yourself. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. How could he do something like that? Seriously? He only looked after himself. He only thought of himself. Selfish fucking prick. Amazingly, four episodes. They all tied together. Doesn't matter where they were, but they all tied together. That- Wow! If you have not got this game, seriously, get it! Ten dollars! Can't really remember how much I did pay. I think it was worth it. Totally fucking worth it. Loved every single minute of it. Stories told. Well, as far as I can tell, there aren't really any other alternate endings or anything that I can see so far. If I do find something, I'll definitely be putting that up. Holy crap, this was a... This was amazing! Hopefully you enjoyed it too, as we encountered the story, the true story of what happened to James Asian. But what a fucking asshole. That's all from me. Like and favor if you enjoyed, subscribe to Fan Gamers, and I will see you next time! Turtles! Three, this is Station Four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. Okay, I, I roger that. I already fucking know that. Guys, I'm shutting down Station Five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. What the fuck? Station Six is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground.